All right, guys, tell me if you ever experienced this. I'm literally jonesing to open a box and it's Sunday. Like, I worked, I was busy, and I forgot to pick up coins or boxes of coins. No pennies, no nickels, no dimes, no halves, no nothing. And it's Sunday, banks are closed. Like, I'm on the verge of like going to go buy some stuff at a gas station and just ask for a roll of pennies or a roll of dimes or anything they got in their drawer. Like, can I get uh, can I get this and my change is 26 cents? Can I get 26 pennies? Like, that's what I'm Jones for. I'm even like doing this. Watch what I'm doing. Let me, let me see if I've got any good coins in the car. Dang it, all new. Like, and there's not even a lot in there. So anyway, I'm jonesing, and then I remembered something. I have a few kids, and they have piggy banks. So I thought, I'm not gonna be stealing from my kids. I can always replace any good coins with the same denomination of not so good coins. So they don't lose any money, but I get my fix solved. Let's go grab my daughter's piggy bank and see what's in it. Sneaking in here, but she's away right now. And look what we got here. Please have something in it. Oh yeah. And it's the kind where you can get in the bottom, get out what you want, and put back. So, you know my kids don't check their coins. Let's get this sucker downstairs and let's get to searching. So excited to go through this. Now, it's not a lot in here, but it should give me about 30 minutes of fun and maybe we'll score something sweet. Woohoo! All right. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy. Don't want to break him. But let's get him on his other side. We'll pull this bottom off. Uh, we got some ones in there. Probably can't see in there very well. Let's get this dumped out and see what we got. That's a pretty good haul there. Let's go ahead and get them separated and looked at. I'll fill you guys in if I find anything cool. Guys, I just put the camera down to take a look and look what the top coin is. It's a wheat scent. That's only a 50 AD, but we got a weedy from the piggy bank shoe fund. Well, I owe her a penny. Guys, this is ridiculous. So these quarters, I was just, I was gonna go through quarters first. And I just grabbed a few quarters to start and this dime caught my eye. And look at this. Now I haven't flipped it over yet, but that, that's looking as silver as it gets. Oops. Yeah, look at, look at the difference. Wow, we literally found in my daughter's piggy bank a 1949 dime. Let me get a better shot of this. 1949 dime. Not in the, oh, it's a D. Not in the greatest condition, but guess what? That's a silver dime. So, so far in the first couple of minutes, I've got a 58D weedy and a 49 dime. I'll be right back. This is ridiculous.
This is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys, I've gone through the quarters. Wanted to show you what we found. There was no silver quarters. We had a couple close calls. We had two 1965s, two 1966s, and a 1969. Not worth anything, but close calls. We also had a bicentennial. I just pulled it out because it was something different. Not really worth anything, but we did find a 1983 P. And anyone knows anything about uh, low mintage quarters, this is one of the lower mintage quarters that there is. So uh, we're gonna keep this one just because it's a 1983P. Obviously um, it's circulated, so it's not worth that much, but the fact that it's a low mint and it's not in completely terrible condition, we're gonna pull it aside and hold on to it. So we'll add that to the hold and the keeps right now. Get these quarters thrown back in here. Now we're gonna move on to dimes. Well, nothing yielded out of those dimes other than the I Spied uh, 1949 dime that I first pulled. So not much happening there. We're now gonna move on to nickels. The nickels yielded nothing except for a 1961 nickel. And um, it's a D, not really worth anything, but I'm gonna pull it out anyway, because it is a 61. We'll put another nickel in its place just so I have at least one of every denomination, the best coin. Before I throw in the towel, we still have the pennies to go through. It looks like there's probably about a roll and a half there if I were to add them all up. So maybe two rolls. Let's see what we got. All right, finished the pennies. We've got a nice bunch of copper here that I'm gonna replace uh, for her with some standard pennies. Got a 2017 P that looks pretty dang nice. And then we actually had one of the Lincoln Memorials. It's pretty, I'm sorry, Lincoln series pennies from 2009. It's in rough shape, but it is a 2009. I'll pull it out anyway. And of course, you know, we got that uh, wheat scent from 58. So you know what? Not a bad score. An 83P, a 49 silver dime, a 61 uh, nickel, and a 58D wheaty. There also was a couple of foreign coins in there, but I'll just throw those back in. But you know what? We got a pretty good little uh, set of coins considering I was jonesing on a Sunday and we had nothing to go through. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.